Why Wives Are Stressed by Husbands More Than by Children In a survey done by Today, which interviewed more than 7,000 moms from the United States, they found that on average, most moms would rate their stress levels at an 8.5 out of 10. According to the same study done by Today, almost half of the mothers, 46%, found that their husbands caused them more stress than their children. The study found that most mothers became stressed and irritated when they don't have enough time in the day to perform all the tasks needed to be done. Moreover, 75% of the participants stated that they did most of their parenting and household duties in the family. And finally, researchers in that Today survey found that one in every five mothers said that a major source of daily stress was a lack of help from their significant other. Now, keep watching to find out why husbands stress their wives out more than children. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Stress Levels According to the University of Padova, these stress levels actually play a role later in life within the marriages as well as in the health and longevity. These researchers found that later in life when wives pass away, the husband's health tends to deteriorate, while when a wife loses her husband, she tends to become healthier and shows improvement in dealing with stress and depression. Speaking of children and stress, if you have kids or are around kids a lot, you're probably familiar with all of the sometimes crazy and extremely creepy things kids say on a day-to-day -day basis. Keep watching as we continue to explain how husbands and children affect the stress levels of women and stick around until the end, because we'll tell you about some of the pretty disturbing things children can say to parents that might stress them out. Now, back to why studies state that husbands stress out women twice as much as children. Men rely on women more. While researchers at the University of Padova were unable to come up with a deciding factor as to why this was the case, they speculated that the cause was because male partners relied more heavily on their female partner than vice versa. When men rely more on women, it adds more stress to a woman's life. They already have to take care of the children, the household, and their own problems. So when they are given the added stress of having to take care of their husbands, it can become a lot to deal with. This only adds to their stress and can wear them out easily. Tips to bring couples closer together. An article done by Healthy Holistic Living revealed several tips that can bring partners closer together. If both spouses work full-time jobs, make sure there is a list of responsibilities that must be abided by. Simple congregation of duties, such as splitting up who does what, can relieve a lot of stress and get a lot more work done. For example, fathers can organize play dates, doctor's appointments, and deal with pickup and drop off, while mothers can deal with homework duties and disciplining and reward. Nowadays, with smartphones and tablets, couples can use a shared calendar app in order to keep one another accountable and up to date. Now that you know why men tend to stress out women twice as much as children, it's time to hear some creepy stories about kids. New parents are quick to fall in love with their young ones and usually think that their children are close to angelic. However, there are definitely a few stories where children have proven to be the complete opposite. In fact, sometimes children are just downright creepy. Here are some pretty disturbing things that children have said to their parents. Finger biting. Here's the first creepy thing that a kid said to a parent. One day, while a child was being bathed by her mother, the little one turned to her mom and said, Mommy, if you bit and ate all of my fingers off, I wouldn't love you anymore. I mean, she isn't wrong. Still, I wonder where this idea could have possibly come into her head. Miscarriage prediction. Someone better be keeping a record of kids who predict miscarriages. A parent told a story about his son who kept saying he had a baby sister who wore a bow. 
He never had a baby sister, but his mom went through a miscarriage. It's like there's some unspoken connections between siblings. Having seconds. A user told a story about his son who really wanted seconds. After he ate, his son said, Daddy, I want to drill into your tummy, crawl inside, and eat your dinner. How good was that dinner? Are they feeding their kids enough? I wonder what all these parents must have said in response to these bizarre things. Growing potatoes. A father told a story about his son bringing a new definition to being wise beyond your years. The father was talking to his son about growing potatoes, and the youth replied, I used to do that when I was an old man. If I was the parent, I would have asked so many questions about what that meant. True crime. Another parent talked about his daughter's shocking knowledge of crime. One day, the little one pretended to put her dad in jail. When her dad asked why he was in jail, she said, you murdered a 23-year-old woman while she was jogging in the early morning. This child has been listening to way too many true crime podcasts. Mosquito Killer A five-year-old had a dawning realization in the car with her dad. After she killed a mosquito, she turned to him and said, That was my first time killing something. We've all been there, kid. We have all been there. Hopefully, this will also be her last time killing something. Apart from maybe a, a few more mosquitoes, obviously. Death. A parent talked about her child's deep understanding of death. At two years old, the family dog died, and just as the parents were scrambling to explain what death meant, the little one said, all her thoughts left her body. That's a pretty impressive grasp on the concept of death for still practically being a baby. Crossed eyes. One parent shared a story about how her three-year-old daughter showed her how she had learned to cross her eyes. When asked how she learned to do that, she said, the boy taught me at night and demonstrated the trick. Nothing too creepy about it until you figure out that that's the same way the mother's brother taught her. He died when she was five. Spanish. An English teacher in Spain was told not to use Spanish, so the kids would be encouraged to communicate in English. One day, a student walked up to her and with a straight face said, Te vas a la muerte, or you're going to die. When her mouth fell open, the student laughed and said, Ha! Ah, you do speak Spanish. Clever. Death prediction. An uncle was trying to explain to his niece that there are certain things you can't change about people. She had just met three siblings and the oldest wasn't the tallest. He told her she could grow up to be taller than him, though he would always be older. That's when she said, you'll be dead sooner too. Accident prediction. During a long road trip, one woman's son who was four or five at the time suddenly ducked and said he didn't want to get glass in his eyes. Moments later, a snowmobile pulled out in front of the trailers and hit a few cars. The family was safe, but it was almost as if he predicted the accident. Mysterious Tall Man One girl explained that when she was younger, she would often sleepwalk to her parents' room. When they tried to put her in bed, she would say, I can't sleep because the tall men are walking. This stopped after moving houses, but one day at church, a kid asked their parents, who are all those tall men? Storm Predictor. An aunt described the time her niece drew a picture of a man in her room. He had two different colored eyes, one being gray. When the aunt asked why he had one gray one, her response was, because he can't see the storm coming. I wonder what storm she was talking about. Is this some kind of weather predicting spirit? So, what do you think? What are some ways both husbands and children stress moms out that wasn't mentioned in this video? And do you have any creepy stories about kids? Let us know in the comment section below.
Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.